right guys i'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite 48 laws of power 48 laws of power by robert green over this past year i have been doing a lot of personal development i've been really kind of trying to reinvent myself i am conditioning myself into the person that i always want to be and i was in the bookstore one day and i saw this book i've actually saw it on a couple of videos that i have been watching on youtube and i decided to try it like, when i first looked at this book i was like girl ain't nobody gonna be reading all this look at how thick this book is y'all like from first glance it doesn't look like something that i would actually read at all but let me tell you what got me there are a ton of it basically tells you um i ain't gonna be doing that y'all can go to this if y'all want to read it i will leave the link in the description and you guys can go check this out okay, this is gonna be my favorite i love the whole thing in general i love the whole 48 laws just as a whole but my top five the five laws that actually kind of attracted me to buy the book myself one my first favorite law this is law four and it is always say less than necessary if you're speaking all the time if you find yourself always talking then you're listening chances are you're really stupid and i'm not trying to be funny or anything like that but you're stupid because there's no possible way that you can learn anything if your mouth is always moving and things are always coming out of it because when you're talking you're not listening don't say too much just hush say less than you think you need to say law number 10 this is my second favorite law stay away from negative people stay away from all things negative whether they be people things that you do on a regular basis foods that you eat stay away from negative things in general as a whole especially if you are trying to achieve something we're all trying to achieve something in life but if you're trying to achieve something great it's gonna take a great deal of concentration and focus and you need as much positivity in your life as possible. Stay away from people that are always constantly telling you that something is not gonna work just because it didn't work for them. I mean, if it didn't work for them, it didn't work for them because they didn't do, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. So learn, learn to kind of turn stuff off. Another thing that I recommend is staying off social media. Try to shield yourself as far away from social media as possible because it's a lot of negative shit out there. Even if you are a positive person, you will see something. Something is going to come in your in your way and it's going to allow you to become negative. A part of you is gonna feel some type of negative influence from that. This is one of my favorite laws. I think it's the most, like, it's the most powerful law in my life. Use absence to create respect. Beyonce as an example. I'm gonna use Beyonce. Okay, anybody notice that everything about her life is very, very private? I mean, I don't even think that we have seen her twins, like her twin children that she just had. Like, I don't know if it's a year ago. I, and I don't know, maybe I'm just kind of like under the radar, but get on Facebook or, or Instagram and all that kind of stuff like that I'm not really I, I will browse but I get haven't seen back, anything back, about back, and back, usually back. when something comes out about Beyonce the whole entire freaking world is talking about it it's interesting to me because they're very private people they put stuff in their lyrics they put things in their in their music her and Jay-Z they actually put things in their music to kind of give people an idea about what's going on the whole elevator thing that happened a few years ago with, with Jay-Z and Solange, nobody even knows what that damn argument was about. And the fact that nobody knows what it's about makes people want to know more and more about what's, what it's about. Even though it's happened years ago, I guarantee you, if Beyonce decided to talk about and discuss what was going on, the details about what was going on in that elevator that day, I guarantee everybody and their mama will be sitting in front of that damn TV, that phone, whatever, trying to find out what was going on. I think for that, they are very, very well respected. You become more common and more replicated when you are constantly talking about everything that's going on in your life. I mean, even some of these people on YouTube, 
who share everything just to get, that's and that's what I'm talking about if you guys didn't watch my last video but people will respect you more for not sharing anything than for you to share every single tiny little minute detail of their lives I mean it's in, insane in the world that we live in now it's so hard to do that because everybody is sharing every tiny little detail. Keep some of that stuff to yourself. Nobody needs to know everything that's going on in your life. I mean, it's really not necessary. And you got to ask yourself, am I really doing this for me? Or am I doing this because I just want to share something? Am I doing this for to help someone? Or am I doing this to... Um, inspire somebody you gotta gotta find your reason for doing it and even if you are trying to inspire people it still needs to be kind of secret it needs to be kind of absent so that is like the best my most favorite law because since I have become more absent especially on my social media networks people seem to be way more interested about what's going on with me and it's kind of funny because when I was posting and putting everything out there nobody really seemed to be interested but it seems like when I cut back and I fall back a little bit everybody just really trying to keep tabs on me and even though I'm okay with people not knowing everything in my life. It feels pretty damn powerful when I have all the good stuff going on in my life or whatever it is that's going on in my life and nobody knows about it. Nobody can um, hurt me with it. Nobody can use it against me. And I think that's awesome. I think that when you can conquer, like learning to cut, cut shit out and really learning how to fall back a little bit, you become a more powerful, more successful person. And I mean, like, it's very important. It's very important. Be absent. All right, so this is law number 34. Be royal. Act like royalty in order to be treated like royalty. You want to be treated like royalty, you have to act like royalty. This is a big one that kind of hit me um, when I actually became an adult. Specifically more so when I became a mother. I did not really used to dress up. I didn't used to get do my hair. I didn't used to, you know, really kind of just take care of myself. And I feel like when I, when I became a mother and I had to actually learn how to take care of someone else, I decided to look at myself and give myself that same attention. So this might not specifically tie into the title, but to me, this is what it meant. And dress up, ladies, especially dress up. Do your hair, honey. Brush your teeth, moisturize your skin, wash your face, put cream on your feet. Like, do that. Do that every single day, and you will become more fulfilling of yourself. You will be... You will feel good, and you will look good, and you will feel good, and that brings on a domino effect. Watch what you eat. Make sure you're putting good things in your body. Make sure you're working out, you're going to the gym, you're doing something good for yourself, and all of the, everything else will come into place. Hold your head up when you walk outside. Don't slouch. You know, hold your head up, hold your neck up, carry yourself like a lady, carry yourself like a man, carry yourself with absolute dignity and respect. Carry yourself as someone who could be a king or a queen. Carry yourself with great, great pride. Like, walk outside and carry yourself and people will automatically look at you and respect you because surely a person that deserves respect looks like they deserve respect right so carry yourself with respect walk around looking good keep yourself together uh, make sure your teeth are brushed and your breath don't stink and you know all those little things matter it doesn't take much it really doesn't interesting that this society that we're in now they kind of give us this idea that if we don't have this and we don't have that, we do, then we surely we can't back, look back, good. Back, but back, it back, really back. is the basics. It's the simple things like brushing your teeth and taking a bath and, you know, moisturizing your skin, taking care of yourself. Those simple things that really make, there is a freaking fly in here and it's getting on my damn nerves. I, I'm like, I had it up to here with it. It's like one of those gnats. 
not a fly, it's like a little tiny bug. I'm not saying for ladies you have to wear makeup all the time, but make sure you're, you're taking good care of your skin and not using the makeup to, see every time I get to talking, it wants to get in my way. I'm gonna get it, watch. Y'all, I'm from the country. We we get things like that here, okay? So you're taking the time to take care of the things underneath. You know, you can always go and buy clothes and shoes and all that kind of stuff like that, hair, whatever. But if you're not taking care of that foundation, like a queen, like royalty, then you really are just putting makeup on a pig. You're not really taking care of what looks good. You gotta have a good foundation. You gotta have... And I had to understand, this is stuff that I had to understand myself, y'all, like, you gotta have a good foundation, you gotta have something decent and good to put those things that you want on top of, you, you gotta have all of that, it, it does matter, it makes a difference, because people can see through that, and, you know, regardless of what you may think and how confident you are and all of this and that, you still need to take care of yourself, you still need to take care of yourself, health it's so important. It's so important. You will never get to where you really want to go in life if you don't take care of yourself. Make sure you check out Robert Greene, 48 Laws of Power. It is a very, very good book. If you are looking, for, if you are someone of success and you are looking to build yourself and you are looking to grow, you are looking to um, channel the best you, then I definitely recommend buying this book, 48 Laws of Power. It is unlike anything that I have ever read. I mean, <laughs> it's unlike anything that I've, I've ever read. But I also want to purchase um, 48 Laws of Seduction. Robert Greene also wrote another book. I will see you guys on the next video. Until then, peace.